York. They really pitched him inside, but other than that, everybody else has pretty much pitched him away. Runner goes. Rivera's throw. Got him. 2-6 and a put out. And he didn't think he tagged him down at second base. He thought Cabrera missed the tag. Here comes Lloyd McClendon. And Lloyd coming out of the dugout. Indeed, the veteran. I don't think he would argue unless he felt that he was safe. Gets a little bit of a late break. Strong throw. And it looks like he may have missed him. He didn't tag him until it looks like his his fingers were on the edge of the base. He went outside. He missed, missed, missed. It's hard to tell. There he gets him. And it looks like his hand's already on the base. So that's going to be close. Sometimes when you're diving in, you can't really feel the glove. You expect it on your arm somewhere. And when you get it down on that hip area, and maybe he did get him just before he touched the base. It was a close play. Take and a look. We're going to take a look. Dan Iasonia is the umpire at second base. Mentioned this the same crew that did the first two games up in Seattle. Well, Dale Scott joining Dan. Man, one of the things we talked about. The Mariners running more and we see it right there right away here in the first inning after Jones ends up striking out. He turns Chavez loose to try to steal a base and the throw definitely beat him. But it was a poor tag by Cabrera out at second. Problem Indy's going to have is they have to have enough evidence to overturn it and I'm not sure that's going to be the case. See him touch him right there. And it's hard to tell where his hand is from that angle. Here's another look at it and again where his hand is if he's touching the base by the time he gets tagged. Well, the boys in New York really going to have to slow that one down. But the other two angles, maybe not so much from this angle. But I think his hand was in there. I do too. I think a good slide too. You can see him going wide. He knows the throw is going to beat him. And right there, they tag him. His thumb get in there? It looks like, I, I think his hand is in there. I'm not sure that'll be enough to overturn the call, but we'll see. Indy's not a guy that that's going to beef trying to sell you a bad piece of goods, you know. No, that's the reason why Lloyd came out right yeah. away. It looks like his hand is in there. I think his hand's on the base by the time he touches him on the hip. Here's another angle. Throw beats him there by a lot. Yeah, that's the reason why he adjusted and decided to dive out wide. Looks like he does not get him. That I don't think so. I think yeah. his hand is in there by the time he touches him. Yep. Kashner continues to throw while we wait. I can understand why this one might take a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. And when you have these two guys on the mound, everything is going to make a difference. You feel that it's going to be a low scoring game. Kashner, quality pitcher for the Padres, and has pitched great here in this ballpark. And of course, Felix in the run that he's on. Runs are going to be at a premium in this one. So if you can get a guy in scoring position, which is, and he hasn't left second base. I don't think he's, he's adamant. Yeah, he's <laughs> adamant about it. It can be a big play, especially with your best hitter at the plate. Exactly right. Other action in the American League West Cleveland and the Angels that game both postponed in Cleveland. Texas lost at Oakland 4 2. Sonny Gray who took his record to 7 and 3. And Nick Tepich is the loser, and that call is going to stand. So Indy's out 2 6.